So this is my version of the dual overhead 4.6 engine cooling head mod, or cooling cylinder cooling mod. Um, basically, the driver side cylinder head has a hot spot in the back where the coolant can't quite flow as intended. The passenger side doesn't have a problem with this because it has an exit which is through this adapter or fitting and it makes its way to this which is the inlet for the heater core and then this is the outlet for the heater core but um, you'll develop a hot spot in the back two cylinders which is cylinder number seven and eight which are the problem cylinders for these engines because they get so hot and you develop cylinder head tick which is loud and annoying I had that but got the cylinder head replaced under warranty or there's another problem where you crack pistons like I did um, but basically all I did was I went to the dealership and I got this part which is meant for the passenger side cylinder head and I modified it to work over here it came with the o-ring and everything I needed I had to cut, cut a couple corners off and make some pieces fit but and I had to drill a couple holes but all in all it worked pretty good it just it saved a little bit of time and money getting because I would have had to buy somebody's like a company's way of doing it um, they have low profile ones so where you don't have to bend or mess with the heater or um, EGR valve tubing mm, there's another company that actually sells this exact part and it's basically what I just did but it, I think it's like hundred and twenty bucks hundred and twenty five dollars and this part was sixty five the tubing was three dollars the fitting was six dollars so added all that up <clears throat> I did have to make a couple adjustments to the EGR tubing. Basically, every single bend I had to heat up and rebend. There's one right here somewhere. One right there, one right there. I had to heat all those up <clears throat> and rebend them to try to get it away from the firewall, which would be about right here, and get it as close to the engine as I could. I mean, I have a little bit of room in between there. Also, I had to make it line up perfectly with the supercharger so I could bolt that up. But that's pretty much it. I need to put the uh, the coolant hose that goes to the heater core on, but that will look like. <laughs> that and then I'll just plug straight in but that is how I did it